Welcome to our Google AdWords video tutorial. Our first video in the series is an introduction to AdWords, what it is, and how it can benefit your business. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Google AdWords and show you how the Google AdWords program can benefit you, no matter what size your business may be. Let's demonstrate the system by starting with the main Google page. We'll begin the process with a search by typing in Lexmark Printer and hit Search. Of course, we get the search results pages you're undoubtedly familiar with. These links in the main body of the search results have larger descriptions, more words, and they're what's known as organic results. That simply means that these are the web links that the Google search engine has found. Based on the relevance they have for what you searched for, Google has returned these links in order, with the first one being the most relevant. For example, I typed in Lexmark Printer, and what Google says is the most relevant site is, of course, Lexmark.com, the Lexmark homepage, which certainly makes sense. But these aren't the only links on the page. You can see here on the right that there are some more relevant results. These are paid results, advertisements. What that means is that every site that appears here has paid to be here. And they don't pay just to be seen, but rather they're paying to have people visit their site. They pay every time someone clicks on the link. So if I click on this link, dell.co.uk, It takes me to a Dell page. By just clicking on that ad, we've cost Dell some small amount of money. Now let's go back to the results. By the way, I can't tell you how much that click just cost Dell because it depends on many factors. What it costs an advertiser per click can be anything from a few cents to many dollars. Let's refresh the results page. Now you'll see several ads appearing at the top of the page as well as to the right. Google's process is dynamic, so these ads change position frequently. Sometimes they appear both at the top of the page and on the side, and sometimes they just appear on the side. So, what determines which ad appears? Your keywords, the search phrase you entered. Google really strives for relevancy, so by typing in Lexmark Printer, you see that the ads we received are Dell Printer, Lexmark Printer, Lexmark. In other words, they're relevant advertisements related either to Lexmark or printers. When you advertise on Google, you get to choose which keywords you want your ad to be associated with. Your ads will appear for searches for those keywords. Let's use another example. Let me type in Dyson and Hoover. Now we'll see completely different ads, both at the top and at the right. So these advertisers are associated with the new relevant keywords. And once again, the advertiser only pays whenever the link is clicked. So effectively, they're paying a certain amount for every visitor they receive through the AdWords system. That covers the main Google search site. Are there other places where your ad might appear? Absolutely. For one, your ad could appear in other Google-owned sites, such as gmail.com. If you have a Google Mail account, let me just log into mine, In this case, Yahoo Home Jobs Computer Training Center. And here you see it says it's a sponsored link. So your ad might well appear in Gmail or other relevant Google sites, as well as the main search engine site. Let's look at another example. We'll go back to the Google main page and let me type in Lexmark Printer again.
This time, let's look at a different Google site, such as Frugal, which is their shopping comparison engine. Now, as well as giving you ads for different stores, the other advertising links appear here on the right. There's also the Google's Groups site. And again, ads appear here. So when you advertise using Google AdWords, your advertisement might well appear all over the Google system, including all the sub-areas, such as Gmail, Frugal, etc. There are others as well. For example, if you click on More, you'll see that there are a great many Google Special Interest locations, which really aren't seen all that often. You can potentially appear in many of these as well. When using Google AdWords, you can also choose to appear on partner sites, which can really broaden your reach. For example, let's go to ask.com. Even though Ask is a completely separate search engine from Google, if I type in Lexmark Printer again and search, it takes me to their results page. When I scroll down, you'll see the main organic returns. However, off to the side are the sponsored links. As of now, these are from Google. So when you advertise on AdWords, you can potentially appear on other high-traffic partner sites, such as Ask. There are many others as well. Let's look at another example. Download.com Now that we're on that site, let's see what happens if I click on Audio and Video Software. Let's scroll through the results quickly, and then let's drill down a little and click on CD and DVD Burners. And here we have some links from our sponsors. These results are Google advertisements too. It's important to mention here that these Google partner sites do change from time to time. A partner site that has AdWords links today may not always have Google AdWords in the future. But you can rest assured there will always be high traffic sites that are eager to partner with Google. For example, fairly recently, MySpace just entered into a very expensive agreement with Google to show Google ads on MySpace over the next three years. So partnerships may change and certain partner sites may not always display Google AdWords advertisements. But the point is that there will continue to be some very high traffic sites that do display those ads. And when you're using AdWords, you can choose to advertise on those sites. Then here's another option. Besides appearing on the main Google sites and the partner sites, you can also appear on sites that receive less traffic and may not be formal Google partners, but still carry the ads. For example, let's go to the site askthebuilder.com. To my knowledge, Ask the Builder is not a Google partner site. Why? It isn't large enough. But nevertheless, it is part of Google's advertising publishing network. It's just one of many sites that have asked Google for the right to display Google advertisements on their site. If they're accepted by Google, then their ads appear like this. And every time the sponsor link is clicked, the website gets a cut of the fee per click and Google gets the rest. As you scroll around the web, watch for these ads and you'll begin noticing them more and more on all sorts of sites. If you factor in the main Google sites, and the partner sites, and the other sites also displaying Google ads, it's clear that you have an absolutely huge potential reach for your ad if you advertise through Google AdWords. Quite literally, there's the potential to have your advertisement on thousands of different websites. Keep in mind the system isn't just for big advertisers, or for little ones either, for that matter. It's important to stress that all sorts of advertisers use the system. Some companies are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every month on AdWords advertising, 
while many others may be spending just a few dollars a month just to see if it works. The system really caters to all levels of advertisers. Even if you're a small advertiser with a new site, or you're looking for a new way of reaching potential clients. To find out more information about AdWords, let's go to Google. There's usually an Advertising Programs link. You can click on AdWords. Or alternatively, you can go to adwords.google.com and you'll be taken to a page where you can sign up if you choose to do so if you don't already have a Google AdWords account, or where you can log into an existing account if you do have one. That's a quick introduction to the reach and power of the AdWords system, and a quick overview of how it works. To recap, you just pay per click, and your ad appears only when it's relevant to certain keywords. That's real targeted advertising. But it's also important to mention that although Google provides a lot of support and documentation here, it is a complicated system. And Google does change the rules from time to time, which can cause some confusion until you become familiar with the effects of those changes. And it's easy to lose money on AdWords if you don't know what you're doing. So the rest of this video series is designed to give you the expertise you need in Google AdWords and get you up and running. My goal is to give you a firm foundation with AdWords so that you can advertise effectively and assure that your web-based business really benefits from this powerful advertising tool.